A delivery driver's strike could have an impact on area restaurants. Drivers for Cisco went on strike this morning, potentially disrupting deliveries of food and supplies. Wave News reporter David Mattingly is at Cunningham's Creekside, where the management wonders what tomorrow might bring. That's right, John. The people here at Cunningham's have had to go through floods. They've had to go through a pandemic, but this is the first time they've had to deal with a delivery driver strike. Stocking up big in advance of a delivery strike is not an option for places like Cunningham's Creekside. This is one of our cooler units. Owner Brent George shows us how refrigerated storage is limited. So when delivery drivers go on strike, disruptions could be felt in just a couple of days. Depending on whatever we have and un totally unprepared, I can't tell you for sure, but it would go fast. It's about two days of, of prepared foods. Cunningham's depends on two deliveries a week from Cisco, everything from fish to cleaning supplies. 20 miles away, drivers are instead carrying signs, demanding better pay and working conditions. You work in more than 12 hours, you're working like 13, 14 hours, sometimes 16 hours. You know, um, you're working 60 plus hours a week. These drivers, the last thing they want to do is, you know, not deliver to the customers they see every day. So that's, you know, that's where we're at right now. This picket line formed at 3 o'clock in the morning. Union representatives say the last communication they had with the company was a week and a half ago. But the company is talking to customers. Cunningham's owner Brent George says he's been promised a delivery on Tuesday. He says he was also previously assured the strike would be averted. But then we were told to stand down that things were progressing and that they were going to avert this strike. And then all of a sudden, 2 a.m. this morning, they called the a strike. And we did have some questions for the company today, but when we sent them into the home office in Houston, there was no response. Reporting live, David Mattingly, Wave News. Thanks.